Jessica Pierce with the ESAC girls track team joining us up here at the uh, Chelsea Henkenia uh, early bird meet in Lake City and three of your four events uh, in the books today let's start off with the long jump uh, your first event of the day uh, how did that go for you today? in your face or behind your back tonight? Okay. Steps so were a little messed up. When did you find out you were six inches short? Um, after the first couple jumps, my coach said he's going to be bad. And then I found out that was where I was going to be forward and then I scratched the last time. Okay. But I ended up getting forward overall. So that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. How will you work on getting those steps right? Or do you think it was just kind of a one night thing that the steps are off? Um, I think it was just like with the wind. I'm not used to it. I mean, you've only done indoor meets. So I just have to work on that. Talk about the difference. Some people, besides the wind, what are the other differences that you really see between an indoor and an outdoor meet? Um, indoor meets, there's usually a lot more people, a lot more like flights, so that gets confusing and interacts with um, like events. Like I had to go back and forth from long jump and like the 60 meter dash and stuff. That's crazy. And there's no wind. That's, I don't know. It's just quite a bit different. Okay. Now, shuttle hurdle was the second event tonight. Yeah, this is my first time ever doing shuttle hurdle. How'd it go? Um, I think we got second overall. Okay. Which is pretty impressive, and three of the four girls have never done hurdles before. Kennedy Pekin is the only one who has done them. Who, who else ran it with you? Um, Hannah Schmidt, Kennedy Pekin, and Kendall Herrick. Okay. And what leg were you? I was the second leg. You were second leg. Yep. Did you feel like you got off to a good start? Did you get out of the blocks okay? Yeah. I was really nervous though because I've only ever jumped over like five hurdles and this is ten and then the wind was against me so that had me nervous. Did you clear them all pretty good? Yeah, I don't think I hit any of them so that was a nice feeling. Right, so this group's got to be pretty pleased with that. You hoping this group stays together then or do you think you will for the shuttle? Um, I think a few of us will be together. Like we had two seniors graduate last year mm -hmm. who were like really good hurdlers. And this year we have Kennedy who's been doing them all for or like the past few years and Emily Dross but she's on a Florida trip so she won't be here but she'll probably be in it and then one of us not sure who. Okay four by two is the other event you've gotten in the books already. Who ran with you tonight? Um, Rachel Tice, Amberly Jurgens, and Courtney Payson. Okay and how did the four by two go? Um, I'm pretty sure we got first in our heat and I'm not sure if we got first overall or not. I haven't heard the results. How'd you feel in that? Um, I felt really good. I was the first runner. Of course there were nerves but I felt like we did really good. I felt like I was like kind of flying, so that was pretty cool. Even though the indoors are different distances really than the yeah. outdoor meets, do you think running a couple of indoors kind of helped you get prepared? Um, yeah, the only bad thing about indoors, well, Ames was nice because it's a 300 track. That was kind of confusing, but BB, like the curves kind of like hurt you more, so. Mm -hmm. But it was like nice having a few meets before this one to get used to things. Sprint Med coming up yet tonight. Uh, who's going to be running that with you? Um, it is, I run the first leg, then it's Courtney Payson, and then Ray. Rachel Tice and Amberly Jurgens. I'm not sure which one runs the four and which one, or which one is the two and which one is the four. Okay. But I'm excited for that. I think we will do well. Well, best of luck. Congratulations on a good start to the night and the season. All right. Thank you.